Mazda dealer quoted $159 just to change the cabin air filter in this 2014 Mazda 3. There's really no reason to pay that amount of money. So I'll show you how quickly and easy you can do this yourself. Hey, what's up YouTube, Dan the Fix-It Man. I'm gonna show you how quickly you can change your cabin air filter in a 2014 Mazda 3. The cabin air filter sits right behind the glove box here. All we need to do is just open that and drop it down. Now, if it's full of stuff, go ahead and empty that out to make this a little bit easier. All right, now, if you come over here to the right side of the glove box, you see we've got this little arm that's attached. It's almost like a little shock absorber. And all you need to do is just pull this off. It's kind of a rubberized material. It'll just come right off that stud, just like that. And then with each hand, just push in on the sides and that will allow you to drop the glove box down and out of the way. Now it's clipped on here. It's okay if it comes off completely. It's almost like a hinge that will just snap into this bar. The cabin air filter is this right here. You just lift up on this tab and pull it straight out. Take a look at that. We've got several leaves and debris, all kinds of junk in there. All right, then we'll just go ahead and open the new one. This one is a 4083 MicroGuard. This we bought locally from O'Reilly. All we need to do is just slide this back in where the old one was. Now, it's a good idea to look in this opening before we put the new cabin air filter in. There isn't any debris in here. If there was, you can get a shop vac and try to clean that out. Now, a shop vac hose will not fit into this narrow opening, but sometimes you can put like a little tube or a small attachment to clean out any debris. That looks good. So we can install the new one just by pushing it straight in until it clicks in place like that. All right, now we can put the glove box back in. Now this is just kind of like a hinge. All you need to do is just kind of snap that back in place. Make sure you get both sides and let's push it back up. And then these plastic tabs will catch on either side. And then to reinstall this little damper, all you need to do is just line that up onto the stud and press it in place like so. And you're done. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you don't mind, that does help me out. I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up a cabin air filter for your car as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.